This time on Scott's Garage, we're going to finish up working with the pallet material, and we're going to create this rustic three-bottle wine holder. Hello, and welcome to Scott's Garage. Well, we're going to start a new project today, but it's kind of a continuation of something we've been doing for a while. Uh, projects out of pallet wood. So I have some of this pallet wood left over, some that I brought back from Arizona. And I'd kind of like to finish it up here and be done with this. If I don't have any pieces left over, that's great. If I do have a few pieces left over, I think I'm going to put them in the shed uh, because we're going to move on to other projects. But the project we're going to do today is a wine rack. I'll show you a picture of it right here, closer. Um, it's again from Autodesk Instructables. It's a three bottle wine rack made out of pallet wood. And it's a pretty simple design, just a few pieces. We'll get started and knock this out in no time at all. Uh, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to cut this base piece and this uh, 45 piece. They're both supposed to be the same length at 20 inches or 50 centimeters in the plan. And so let's cut those two pieces at 20 inches right now. The next thing I want to do is just cut a 45 on uh, one of these edges because this is going to be the piece that goes vertical like that. And uh, we just want kind of a 45 right on the edge there. We do this. Doesn't really matter which side. Either one's fine. And I didn't really worry about uh, this. The size, I took a little bit off of that, so it's going to be a little short because these pieces don't really have to fit in anything, so they can be whatever size I want. So how I think this is going to work, looking at the picture, is we have a 45, and then I kind of want, with the 45 degree, for these surfaces to line up. So maybe I can put a kind of a... The guide here, two by four, and then if we just put this at 45 and slid it about there, I think that's going to be just about perfect, and it'll cover these holes too. I like it. Yeah, it's just about perfect. So let's cut the first angle piece. Right about here. Well, this one's going to fit in the corner. How to hold this whole thing together, I'm not sure yet. Uh, let's think about that. All right, so I've got the brad nailer out. And what I kind of want to do is just get this thing maybe glued and bratted here in place temporarily. So then I can start putting my pieces in. Boy, it sure is easier to use this glue <laughs> than Dad's uh, bucket of glue. Boy, that was sure weird. Okay, so I kind of like that. I think that's pretty good. And to max match the picture, let's put this one piece over in here. Yeah, it fits.
So you notice that I made this a little different. I kind of thought it'd be fun to have this kind of at an angle too, rather than just having it straight up and down. So I thought that was cool. But now, now what do I do? Put another one here. Oh, that's perfect. All right, in here. And there we go. I like that a lot. I like it. Then we just have to drill three holes. Okay, so the bottles, it says, need to be about five inches apart. So if we just, we started, there's that. Five, and and 15. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just going to put this two by four as a backup, sort of a sacrificial piece, and um, clamp it in place so it doesn't move around as much. Three locations. I should try to drill them at a 45 degree angle, it says. And I have a sacrificial strip in the back, so let's uh, let's do this. See how the uh, wine bottles fit. Hey, that's pretty cool. I like it. Nice. Well, all right, let's have a Coke to celebrate our beautiful creation. Well, it's supposed to be rustic, so you know, don't uh, don't judge me too harshly. <laughs> So now what I'm going to do, I like it, is I'm going to put some putty and putty this whole thing up. Then I'll do some sanding. The next step is to do a little bit of sanding. I think the putty is just about dry. We just need to sand this up a little bit, not too much because it is rustic. And then we're going to put a coat of this uh, stain and poly in one. Find a few wine bottles to put in this and uh, a nice place to put it. Getting down to the last few steps here. So I just want to kind of give this a little bit of a sand just to smooth it out. Get the uh, splinters off and then sand a bit of that uh, putty that I put in there. And the last thing I'm going to do here is just uh, put a coat of finish and then we will be done. So once this is all done, what I can do is try it out with a few bottles of nice wine, maybe some glasses. Let's go to how they, they show it um, you know, in the picture there. But I think this just about does it for our pallet wood projects. Um, kind of done with them, done a lot of that, and I uh, don't feel like doing too much of it anymore. So, <laughs> so we're going to finish this up. We have some pallet wood material left over, but we're not going to use it for anything else um, in the near future, but we will save it for something. And then we can just let that dry, and then that can go up on the, uh, the hearth or mantle or wherever you want to put Something nice to display your fine wine. Hope you had fun watching me build this. I had a great time building it. And we'll see you next time on Scott's Garage. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.